The Tekapo Power Scheme is located in the Mackenzie District in the South Island of New Zealand and uses water from the glacial and stream-fed Lake Tekapo to generate electricity. The canal was constructed in 1977 and, after many years of service, required repair. The 26 km long Tekapo Canal carries water from the 25 megawatt Tekapo A hydroelectric power station located just outside Tekapo village to the 160 megawatt Tekapo B power station on the edge of Lake Pukaki. Canal remediation works were carried out in three zones. The design developed in New Zealand by URS with support by international experts required a watertight PVC membrane to be placed inside the canal in these three zones. Zone 1 of the remediation work was 1.9 km long, Zone 2 was 3.8 km long and Zone 3 was 1.8 km long. The first season of remediation works included lining of Zones 1 and 2. Over the years, leakage from the canal had developed, which was identified by seepage ponds downstream of some areas of the canal and by divers using a milk test. The remediation works commenced by building coffer dams sealed with a geomembrane liner to enable dewatering of the three zones to be lined. During the dewatering, fish trapped in the dewatered sections were carefully removed. An inspection of the condition of the dewatered canal was carried out by the designers before remediation works commenced. Then the weeds were removed and the canal walls were trimmed to the required shape. A specialist watertight and durable PVC geomembrane liner had been manufactured in Italy and Spain prior to the dewatering and delivered to Tekapo. The characteristics of each roll of liner were labelled in the factory for quality control and traceability of the individual rolls throughout the project. The rolls were welded together to form a seamless lining using specialist welding machines controlled by computers to vary the speed and temperature of welding to ensure high quality watertight welds were achieved. A double track welding system was used to allow testing of each welded seam. The space between the welds was pressurised and the results of the pressure test on every seam were recorded. Vacuum tests were also carried out at the junctions of the scene. All the test results were entered into the quality assurance and quality control records for the project. Careful planning was required to place the liner as quickly as possible to minimise the loss of electricity generation whilst the canal was being repaired. A protective geotextile material was then placed on the PVC liner in the canal bottom and ballast gravel produced from a local quarry was placed on top of the geotextile to stop any liner movement due to operational water flow. A purpose-built conveyor was used to place the ballast on the canal floor. This placement method avoided damage that could have been caused by heavy trucks driving over the liner. The ballast was carefully distributed onto a geotextile protection layer on the canal floor using a skilled operator in a GPS guided excavator to ensure that the liner was not punctured. Another geotextile protection layer was also placed on the upper section of the canal walls before placing the crest ballast which was then reinforced with a geogrid to prevent slippage.
During the canal remediation works, Genesis Energy took the opportunity to carry out seismic upgrading of the State Highway 8 bridge over the canal. The bridge columns and foundations were substantially strengthened. Genesis Energy also took the opportunity to replace a stream culvert that crosses under the canal. Piping had developed around the old culvert and had created concerns about the long-term integrity of the canal at this point. After completion of the first season's remediation works, the dewatered sections of the canal were refilled and the cofferdams were carefully removed using a GPS-guided long-reach excavator. After completion of the second season's remediation works, the Tekapo Canal is expected to supply water to the Tekapo B hydroelectric power station for at least another 50 years. <laughs>